That's scary. Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm in Valley Cliff. Valley Cliff is a little bit the free ride spot of Squamish. There is some big jumps, some super technical lines, some exposed feature. I'm gonna be riding my bike. I'm gonna be having fun. But most importantly, we're gonna talk about fear. I'm a professional mountain biker, but I'm actually very scared. So I'm gonna tell you how I manage that fear and how I turn it into a strength to be able to ride confidently and successfully uh, my bike. So let's dig into it. So as a professional mountain biker, I basically made a name for myself by riding the craziest and gnarliest feature and making it look somehow uh, kind of easy. And I've been reading a lot of your comments on YouTube or on Instagram. And thank you so much, by the way, for engaging with me. Um, and a lot of those comments say that, you know, I'm fearless. Uh, how come you're not scared? But it's actually wrong. I'm very scared. Uh, I do have a lot of fear when riding my bike. And I think what's important is how I manage that fear so I can basically stay, you know, safe and, and ride smoothly, comfortably. So today I'm gonna walk through all that process before eating an early feature, uh, something that scares me, a line or, or a jump, whatever it is. And hopefully that's gonna help you uh, to do the same and, uh, you know, to stay healthy and have fun on your bike. So mountain biking and fear is completely a mental game. Uh, we all know people who deal really well with fear and some who don't. We all know someone that is, you know, very skilled or very experienced, but would never end up riding a drop or a feature just because uh, they can't properly manage their fear. And at the opposite, uh, we all know someone that's always riding features and drop which are above their skill level and who often crash and get hurt. So I'm gonna tell you a bit of um, my experience with that. And one of the first thing I do is that I probably spend way more time than any other rider to look at a feature, analyze it, look at my bike and try to control as much parameter as I can. So what parameter am I talking about? Well, mountain biking is a mechanical sport. And so I guess more than any other rider I know, I like to make sure that all the parts I'm riding on the bike and the bike is perfectly set up for the job. So if I'm gonna ride a new feature or a new line that's outside of my comfort zone, I pay extra attention to you know my tire pressure, my brake setup, my suspension setup, make sure that the cleats under um, my feet are in good shape and the pedal really is the way I want that you know my helmet is perfectly tight that you know my glasses are clean all that kind of stuff so when i come to a feature or to a line i'm confident uh, with the stuff i'm riding and that's for me extremely important that allows me to you know focus on what i know um, you know basically how to ride the bike instead of is my bike uh, set up for the job and is my bike in good shape So once your bike is all dialed, and actually that's something I should mention right now, is I'm never shy to adjust my own bike on the trail itself. Why? Because every feature is different. And sometimes I could be looking at the drop and think that, oh, actually if my bike was set up stiffer right now, I am more likely to perfectly ride it on the first go. So it's something that I never hesitate to do. Now the bike is all good to go. What about the body? I always make sure that I feel 100% before doing something that's outside of my comfort zone. So I want to make sure that I'm not tired. Did I drink enough water? Did I eat enough? Uh, you know, do I have any, you know, little injuries that could potentially make me do something stupid uh, when I ride the line? That's a great way to avoid injury. Most people get hurt when they're tired. So 
don't do the same mistake. I try not to do the same mistake. And, uh, and yeah, that's really important. That removes a lot of stress and anxiety uh, off my shoulder before doing something. So keep that in mind. That's scary. So once I know that my body and my equipment is good, I'm gonna start focusing on the line itself. So what does that mean? I'm gonna walk it and make sure that there is no little viable, no little danger that could get on my way and could, you know, potentially create a crash or a mistake. So that could be, um, you know, a branch that fell on the ground. That could be a rock that just happened to be in the middle of the landing that should not be there. Anything like that, I'm going to get rid of it and then I'm going to start visualizing myself successfully riding the line. So running means taking your bike, riding your bike to the edge of the jump and starting to feel the speed, starting to feel the compression, starting to feel the terrain. And the more you do that, the more uh, you gain that knowledge and the more you can visualize yourself successfully ride the feature. So it's really important. But when I do that, sometimes I do it way too much. I start to overthink. And then instead of focusing on a positive thought, which is me riding the line perfectly, I start to imagine myself making a mistake, landing next to the landing, hitting a tree and getting hurt. When this happens, I have to refocus. In order to refocus, I just take a deep breath. I try to uh, slow down my heart rate. And I just try to remember similar experience that I've had in the past where, you know, I did a jump that's pretty alike, or I did, uh, you know, a similar drop. And, you know, I remember that I, I got the skills that I required to ride the feature, that the bike is good. And I try to reassure myself that I can do it. If that uh, negative feeling doesn't go away and, you know, regardless how many run-ins I do, it's still in the back of my head. That means on this day, I'm not ready to hit that jump, to hit that feature or that line. And I simply won't do it because it's not worth the risk uh, to get hurt, simply. And that's really important to be able to say, you know what, I don't feel it, I'm not going to do it. And that actually happens to me way more than you probably imagine. I actually... Um, not end up doing some gaps or some feature uh, quite often because I'm riding, I'm, I'm pushing, uh, you know, my, my own limit. So it's something really common and there is absolutely no shame to do so. If you don't feel it, don't do it. Okay, I got it. Sometimes though, the fear I experience is not rational. It can be on a jump that I've done hundreds of times. And for some reason, one day I'm scared and I'm not feeling it and I can't explain why. Well, sometimes if it's not rational and if I know deep inside me, I got it and there is no way I'm gonna make a mistake. I try to empty my brain and instead of overthinking it, I just basically try to shut off my brain and let my muscle memory do the job. 
and um, yeah, I basically go on autopilot mode and in my own case, to me that works out usually better because sometimes I just think too much when I should literally just ride my bike like I know how to do. So what happens when you manage your fear and you took the decision to ride the feature? You roll in, you ride the feature, well, two cases. First one, everything happens the way you want it, you do it successfully. Then what you do is that you analyze what happened. Even though you've made it successfully, you can still learn from that experience to ride the next time or the next feature even better. That way you can become a smarter rider and you can really progress. Now, second case, unfortunately you make a bad mistake or you crash. Well, now it happened. All you can do is trying to understand what happened. By analyzing and being super critical of yourself, you can make sure that you're not gonna be making the same mistake in the future. And that's really what is gonna take your riding to the next level. It's extremely important. And even if, you know, it's disappointing to crash and not being able to ride some things the way you want, that way you can still uh, learn and do better for the future. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, fear is natural. Fear is what keeps us alive. So what's important is how you manage it. I would like to give a massive shout out to Jensen USA. Those guys have been a big part of my YouTube channel. They brought me a lot of support to do more and better video. And to celebrate our partnership, I'm gonna give away one gift card. In order to enter, it's super easy. You leave me a comment in that video and next week on my YouTube channel, I will be announcing the winner. Good luck everybody and see you next week on YouTube.